Uh, Kelsey, you've been reviewing Scorn, which is this H.R. Giger inspired sort of meat palace survival puzzle thing. Yeah. What do you actually do in the game? Because I think a lot of people might be confused. Um, yeah, I was I was pretty confused at first as well. Um, I suppose you wake up as this sort of um, humanoid type fella and you just go and explore this meat palace where everything looks like something familiar to you. So it looks like a machine or something like that. Okay. But you can't call it a said machine because it looks more like a spine or something really phallic or it's just made of loads of like rotting mess. Yeah. It's, it's very disorienting because everything looks like something else. Everything can be compared to, some, compared to something else. But all of these things and items that you encounter in the environment are mainly like interconnected puzzles it's a very right. puzzle heavy game it looks more like a a combat type first person shooter from the trailer in some instances but it is it's more puzzle heavy it's more all about exploring seeing how the environment works together and aliens i guess there's aliens in there how does it all come together then because for something that is exploration driven it seems like quite an unpleasant place to be What's the experience like of having to exist in that world for an extended period of time while you're trying to concentrate and solving puzzles and stuff like that? I can imagine it's deeply unsettling. Yeah, for sure. It very much gets under your skin as well. It's, it's one of those where you'll do an act of the game and you'll very much want to kind of walk away and take a break for a bit. Not because there's anything wrong with it, it's just because it's so intense. Yeah, yeah. Because um, it's not only just the fact that you're dealing with all this stuff that looks gross, but the puzzles also like really make you rack your brain as well. It's very full on. What sort of puzzles are you doing in it? It's, it's very environmental, isn't it? It's so hard to explain. There's a lot of sticking your fingers in things. There's a lot of like <laughs> collecting things from one place and taking them to somewhere else, but you don't necessarily know what that somewhere else is. There's a puzzle at the very beginning of the game, which I'm looking forward to seeing how like people respond to because it involves these sort of like eggs that you have to move into certain places using this claw contraption that you have because one specific egg is one that you need to put it in a certain slot okay what, what are those games that like you, where you have to go and get the car out of the car park like a tile puzzle right yeah it's like that okay so that, that one was difficult because you do, obviously you go into that and you don't realize that that's what you need to do at first and you also don't realize which particular like egg so to speak i see is the one that you need to make escape it's very confusing there's no hand holding you're just thrown into it so it is it just it gets under your skin and it gets very frustrating so it sounds kind of like trying to do a jigsaw puzzle when you haven't even seen what the picture is it's so much guesswork yeah it's guesswork and then eventually it just clicks and once it clicks you're like oh okay that was fine <laughs> uh, one of the things we noted from previews was that uh, a lot of the people who play tested it at Gamescom and things like that actually found it quite difficult to figure out what the next steps were in the puzzles. A lot of people found it quite obtuse and had to keep sort of bothering the devs mm. for clues and prompts. And I gather uh, there was a similar situation with the review cycle, right? It was really helpful in a way because obviously, you know, we want to get through this game and review it. So we'd rather not be stuck yeah. for five hours on a single puzzle, which was very much me on the first day. And more often than not, they won't give us direct answers, but they just give us a push in the right direction, which is all we need. Um, but it goes to show that this is probably one of those games that will hopefully get people discussing it to try and come to a conclusion. But I can also see quite a few people getting very frustrated at the beginning of the game and probably just walking away from it. You mentioned that there are encounters, but it sounds like it's quite a solitary experience for the most part, right? Yeah, it's very much a solitary experience. You do very much feel alone. Um, there are a few things you'll encounter from like Act 2 onwards. There are a couple of alien like creatures. There are some very ugly looking chicken like aliens that spit acid at you throughout like the start of the game and they're a pain in the ass. But I guess why impressive later on. It feels like it's a perfect kind of Game Pass game, doesn't it? Yeah. I wonder if it wasn't coming straight to Game Pass. A lot of people might have been turned off by the idea of chucking 40 quid at something that looks quite grotesque. But because it's on Game Pass, a lot of people are going to try it out just 
for the crack mm. because it looks so weird but in the process discover something that's actually worth exploring no 100 percent. It, it looks so good that's what piqued my interest and admittedly when i was stuck on act one i was like i don't want to play this game anymore but then <laughs> I, you persevere and you're like okay i still don't really know what's going on but this is getting good it is going to be interesting to see who plays it from game pass and what people say about it Like and subscribe and all that. I mean, if you want, I'm not your mum. And check out the weekly VG247 Best Games Ever podcast if you quite like listening to people mugging off their boss. I should probably stop doing that, actually.